This is Volleyball DNA. So today we are featuring somebody from the Bali Pure Purest Water Defenders, a team that is synonymous with the PVL because they've been there from the beginning, actually even before the Shakey's V League turned into the PVL, Nandun in Bali Pure. And I talked to their coach, John Abella, and I asked him, Coach, sino ba yung uh, pwede nating interview in from your team? And he mentioned two players. He said, Sati Espiritu, who I covered in the NCAA, played for San Beda, and Gaira Baroga. So I said, you know what? Since I'm Lasalian, as you can see, let's go with Gaira. <laughs> so here she is. Gaira, thank you so much for the time. And uh, it's great to finally catch up with you. Hi, Anton. It's nice to be here. And it's been a while. It's been a few years since I last since we had an interview together. Actually, I still remember the last <laughs> one. Uh, it was at ABS-CBN. Kayo nila Don, nila Kiana. Um, what, what was a Duke Joy. interview? I think at the joy. I'm not sure. Um, no, at the yeah. joy was not there. At the joy was not there. Actually, was I'm not. Sure. See, I know Justine. Justine was there. Oh yeah, at the says yeah, Justin Chuya. She was with me that time also. I remember. Yeah. It was a yeah. fun interview. Yeah, uh, but you know now this is how it's done, and you know I'm so thankful for the time, Gara. Thank you for inviting me. All right, it's an so, honor. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's my pleasure. Um, Bali Pure. Let, let, let's let's talk about that um, because, as I said, Bali Pure is a team that has been in the PVL since the beginning. That they won a championship, and ironically, your coach now, Coach John Abella, coached against Bali Pure when Bali Pure made it to the finals in the very first conference of the PVL. So. What's the latest update on Bali Pure? I mean, this is, uh, this is uh, another chapter in the long history of, of Bali Pure. How is the team doing? Well, I think the team's doing fine. Uh, we're trying to gel as much as possible because I think that's the most important thing for the team, the connection with one another. So that's what we're focusing on right now. But it's kind of difficult because we're only doing online trainings. Mm -hmm. Um. We were supposed to train already face to face, but then the ECQ happened, so the training was face to face training was postponed again. So right now we're doing online trainings together, and then um, funny story there: the team is bonding through Mobile Legends and oh other video games. So. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, they are, which is funny and fun because. Everyone's so close now because of uh, the online games. What, what do you mean they are? So you don't, you're not into Mobile Legends? I'm not. I, I mean, I'm close with the team. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I, ha I, don't, play, I don't play Mobile Legends. Um, and they're trying to teach me now. Uh, Everyone's trying, telling me, go download the game. Uh, we'll teach you. Bubuhatin ka Sabi ko, sige, hanggang buhat lang So later, we're gonna play. We'll see. <laughs> As long as you don't play into the wee hours in the morning, you guys are good. Okay. Hopefully, we don't do that. <laughs> okay, let's talk about the makeup of the team because I'm looking mm -hmm. at the roster and I'm seeing like a sprinkle, a sprinkling of talent. As in, you got players from the UAP, the NCAA players from the province. So as, as the team is constructed, what do you think are the strengths of Bali Pure in the PVL? Right now, I think, given that we haven't seen each other face-to-face, -face, mm. um, basing it on the online trainings, it's how fresh our mindsets are mm -hmm. and our goals are. Uh, we had a meeting, and then we also talked about what's the expectations of the team. Right now, we're just focusing on um, our communication and also our connection. And then our strength, our main strength, I guess, is being happy and confident with each other and how we play. Because... We watched each other's games, and I can say that my teammates really, my teammates and the team really have something to show. Uh -huh. So you have Grace Bombita as your team captain, and you know, uh, for me, for me, it, it's it's something. I think it's something good because you know you're always looking at the UAAP, 
And like UAP is the top tier league, and then you have the NC, and then you know the other leagues in the province. So, how do you feel about Bali Pure as you know being a team that is unpredictable, and, and, and maybe a team that you can't just cross out when other teams look at the schedule? I guess what's nice about our team is that it's very um, it. Players come from different teams, such as what you said, NCAA, the province, UAAP. We get to see different types of play. Mm. I can say that you can see other talents from what um, you haven't seen in the NCAA or the UAAP, like Ate Grace, Bombita. She's a, she was a shocking revelation, like how she played. That's really, she's really strong. So mm. you can see in the Philippines that the strong players don't only come from the UAAP or NCAA. They, there will really be very strong players coming from the provinces who didn't have a chance to play for the leagues. So yun din yung isa sa mga kagandahan no, about the PVL because now that there are 12 teams, there's a lot of, well, I'm not, I'm not going to say like slots for everybody, but mm-hmm. mas dumami yung teams, a lot of more job opportunities for volleyball players. So now you look at the other teams in the league, Gaira. Um, who do you think are the favorites to win the championship? It's very unpredictable right now <laughs> because, siempre, given that uh, um, the players haven't been on the court for the past year, mm. so I think right now everyone is on the same playing. Field. No, I'm not gonna say same skill, but same mm-hmm. playing field. Na, syempre, it's not as intense. Like training at home, give the conditioning coaches, the, the head coaches, uh, giving trainings at home. It's not as intense. So I guess um, it's very unpredictable. Pero syempre, contender pa rin, um, ang F2. I can say because you know I trained with them. <laughs> F2 will always be a contender because given the LaSalle system. Mm. Uh, they're very and they've been playing for so long together from college mm. and then mm. to the pro. Mm. So I think sa pinaka nag gel ng team, I would say it's F2. Mm. Sila yung pinaka wise. yeah, chemistry wise. So hindi na sila magkakapaan sa court and they know how each other they know how each other plays talaga. Mm. And it's funny a while back we had Des Cheng on the show and she said um hindi pa nga sila nakabalik sa court together. Uh-huh. So, hindi siya sure kung magkakakilala pa ba sila. <laughs> like, she was joking about that. <laughs> so, anyway. I doubt it. You doubt I it. doubt it, though. <laughs> I doubt it. Kasi, I don't know, ah. Like, playing for La Salle and then being on the team, iba talaga yung connection, eh. Iba talaga mm. yung samahan. So, mm. even though you don't see each other for so long, I think, mm. nandun pa rin yun. Like, you know each other very well. La mm. Every galaw, even outside the court, alam mo. So, I doubt it. Na, uh, they have a very strong connection talaga. Alright, in line with that, let's talk about your Lasallian career. Uh, you played two years for Lasall. I'm sure you have so many memories with the team. <sighs> so, maybe you could share something that, you know, maybe an unforgettable moment as a member of the Lady Spikers. Like, when you go back and talk with your teammates, is there a moment wherein you're like, wow, you know, that that is something we're going to remember for the rest of our lives? Hmm. And There's so many memories <laughs> I to go through. Like, I mean, I've been with the team for almost four years and then three mm. years. And then I got into the lineup two years, 79 mm. and 80, I think. Mm. Sobrang dami. Well, I guess yung pinaka mag-aano talaga sa akin, mag, like, stuck to me was the connection. Mm. And also how everyone, like, each and every player wants to pull up yung mga, ano, like, we want to teach each other. Ganun. Mm. There are no hard feelings. Like, cause sometimes, di ba, pag magtuturo ka sa teammate or magsasuggest ka, like, maybe they take it bad. Sa team namin, wala talaga. Like, if we take the suggestions very seriously like oh okay thank you ate like ganun parang mm. yung samahan talaga it's different it's like a family it's like we're sisters um we're so close knitted talaga kasi as a team and then i remember like we would have movie nights mm. and then thursdays like the whole team would have thursdays tapos we would just talk about what happened to our week or 
like what's happening during training how are you doing i guess that's what's nice is that we keep the communication communication open and wala talaga kasi grupo o grupo sa amin like i don't have uh you won't have this person na super close mo na siya lang it's mm-hmm. with everyone eh it's like a close knitted group talaga and then siguro yung pinaka memorable sa akin was how we train mm-hmm. and then how how every hardship we were there for each other like on and off the court ganun na okay para sa team to para sa atin to or we're gonna think na para sa teammate ko to para kay coach to it's it's that mindset i think that gives us all the winning you know you the winning streak the winning um attitude mm. na very close knit like a family talaga it's so amazing how the system works with everyone mm. yeah All right, you know the way you describe it. It's like a business-like approach. So, who is? I'm not gonna say intense. I'm not gonna use that word. But who was like the most professional lady spiker? As in, like college palang parang pro na gumalaw na sobrang yon discipline. Like for you, who's the most disciplined lady spiker? Na you know you have to follow this player. Because she is the epitome of a leader, leads by example, and always seems to do what is right in the eyes of Coach Ramil. I have two. Okay. <laughs> I have two. I can't choose. I guess. Well, because all our seniors, eh, whenever you, whenever you have that senior title, na, mm. whenever you have that, you're a senior title, na, you have to be. More professional in a way that you everyone's gonna look up to you. You're gonna be an example. Pero siguro when I came into the team, kasi it would be Ate Ara mm. and Ate Achi Kim Pardo. Mm. Like, kasi when I went, di ba, my first year in La Salle, Ate Ara got injured, mm. and then grabe yung mindset niya to get back on the court na I wanna play, I wanna play with my fellow seniors. So, she was very hardworking. Like, twice a day siya mag-strengthening, day in, day out. Very inspiring yung nangyari na kay Ate Ara when she was injured. Tapos, she came back like nothing happened. Like, in a snap, she was back to her old Ara Galang ways. Tapos, si Achi Kim siguro, she's the epitome of a leader. Like, mm-hmm. He, she's not the kind of leader who would boss you around. She would really set an example na, girls, we have to do this. But of course, she would do the things that coach said first, The what coach wants, para to set an example for us na, okay, this is what you have to do. So I guess, Ate Kim was the, for me, na magaling na leader talaga. And also Ate Joy. I don't know. It's so hard to choose, eh? Because they're really good captains. Mm. They were really good captains, and I was in the team. They made sure that everyone was close, and that there were no problems within the team. Mm. Like everyone didn't have conflict. So, yun. I don't know. Talagang ang galing nilang captain. Ang galing nilang leaders. Like I look up to them talaga na. Oh, pag one day, parang this is what I want to become. Na like yung na inspire ako na. Given the chance, I would want to become this kind of leader. Ganon, like I can't, I can't explain it. Eh, pero they're that kind of leader, talaga. I do remember you saying when I interviewed you at ABS-CBN. I asked the question, like, if you could play with any lady spiker, who would it be? I remember you saying Aragalang. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remember that. Um, okay, I do have to ask you this question though. Uh, it was in season 80. Okay, because you were talking okay. about you were talking about the intensity of trainings, and there was this infamous moment in Lady Spikers history that happened in season 80. So you play against Adamson, and you lose. It was a shocking upset. And after the game, Coach Ramil De Jesus says, "Pang barangay yung laro ng Lady Spikers," and it set the social media world on fire. I mean, you were there, Gaira. Did you go back to Taft to practice on that day? <laughs> yeah, we did. We oh went back God. to training. Uh, okay. Huh. Uh, well, could you recall okay. the events of that day? As in, uh, 
because I can only imagine what happened right after. Like, siguro on the bus pa lang going back to school. Like, tell us about that day. <laughs> Let me just say it was a very intense day. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess, I don't know, coach, coach didn't, I don't think Coach Ramil meant to offend anyone with hmm. um, Pambaranga yung lalo, laro. I think it's just to remind us that we were given this platform. We were given this chance to play for the UAAP. We should show them that um, we're here in the UAAP. Mm. Everyone was having a bad game, I think, that day. And then Adamson, Adamson was having a really good game. So um, when we lost, coach just reminded us that this isn't how you play. Why, why are you playing so like you're down? Uh, you this isn't a lady spiker like that's what he was telling i guess that's what he was telling us that's what he wanted to remind us so we were so quiet <laughs> on the way back that after everyone was so quiet in the bus like uh because we were thinking about of course what could have happened in the game what could we have done differently and then when we got back to taft coach just reminded us on the court what we could do na um, he showed us how hard, how hard the training was. That we should always play a good game, and he, I guess, that was a wake up call for us. Na, na you should, you should embrace what you have, and then embrace the platform given to you and the chance to play for the UAAP. He reminded us what our seniors did and how they, how they, um, how they used to play, and I guess that what. That was an eye opener for us, and we woke up, mm. give, saying, and then we talked afterwards that we have to br- we have to pull each other up, and we have to remind ourselves even if we're down, we have to remind the other person that hey, you used to do this, you can do this. Um, this is not how you used to play. So I guess Coach Ramil just wanted to wake us up in that moment that you guys are more talented than what you think. So. I don't know. I guess it was a very, very, very hard day for each and every one of us when we got back to task when we trained. But it, it gave us this chance to see that, yeah, why are we wasting our chance to play, to play for the school, play for the team, if we can do it more intensely? That was what coach was looking for, the intensity of the game, because we didn't play as intense that day. So it was a good wake-up call to us. After that, we didn't win. We didn't lose another game. Yeah, I think it was eleven straight wins after that. If, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. On the way to a third consecutive championship, because it's season eight, yun eh, di ba? So mm-hmm. the 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 last repeat that you guys had was season seventy eight to eighty. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So well, you guys. It's a good wake up call. Yeah, it was it was it was a good wake up call, but yun nga. Uh, Di ka naman namatay sa training that, that night. Still alive but barely breathing. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was worse, of course, for that time our captain at the Joy. Yeah. Siyempre, she was the example. So Oh yeah, because like coach, the captains are always the first one who's, who's going to suffer the brunt of... Uh, <laughs> the captains have it worse than anyone. So I guess it was really hard for Ate Joy. It's also wake, it was also a wake-up call for our seniors. Na uh-huh. we, they have to lead the team. It's their last playing year. You yeah. know, leave their mark. And they did. Like, what an amazing mark they left. And, and for, for you guys, diba, when you see your captains going through that, parang we were mahi- crying. Mahi- eh, we were crying. We were tearing up na. Na, like, we... Our captain doesn't deserve this. It's her but, last play. What, 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 what was Joy doing? What, ano walang katapusang one man bayan? <laughs> and then, siguro ha. Oh my gosh! Pero the time na na iyak kaho, na iyak kami lahat was uh, habang Ate Joy was having a hard time when na one man siya ni coach. Yeah. She was screaming all our names. Oh. Like, oh, even right now, like, thinking about it, it, it's such a nostalgic moment na, para sa'yo to, coach, para sa'yo to, Gaira, para sa'yo to, Kiana. Like, every ball she would touch. Wow. So, that was, 
everyone on the court was crying. Uh, in the court in Razon, we were crying kasi we should do this for our seniors. We should do this for the Rosalian community, for coach. We forgot, siguro yun, we forgot the who we were fighting for. Um, and that woke us up like right now. <laughs> yeah, just imagining that na, I, I, I got goosebumps all over just, just, just imagining that. Because I've seen, I've seen Coach Ramil administer yung one man na yan. I, I, I saw Michelle Gumabaw silenced and her shoulders na nakabagsak. Eh, di ba? Michelle is, mm. Michelle is Such Michelle. Such a strong person. Yeah, I've, I've seen Abby gasp for air because of that one man. So, I mean, I've never seen Joy, but you telling the story. Wow. Nakakilabot. Okay. Um, you mentioned the togetherness of Lasal, and then you said walang grupo grupo. But what's with Ask Tyra or Ask Tira? Ask Tira. <laughs> Akala ko ba walang grupo grupo? Eh, parang kayo dalawa. May sarili kayo grupo. Hindi. <laughs> no. Um. Hindi. I'm telling you, walang grupo grupo. And then everyone is so close. Like uh-huh. yung batch. Yung na experience ko yung batch na um. I started guys season 78 eh. 78 nandun ako. Pero mm-hmm. I wasn't in the lineup. 78 to 80 until mid-81 ata. Before I went to Coco Life. Yeah. Walang grupo-grupo. Like, coach would would call us out if there was grupo-grupo. I guess sa amin lang nitin. I mean, I'm close with everyone. Like, I'm close with my batchmates. Batch 115. I'm yeah. close with I, them. I, I get it naman eh. I, I just mean, I'm just joking of course. But like, yeah, 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 I know. Yeah, Pero, you, you, you got best friends on the team, obviously. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pero, I don't know. Si Tin kasi, we're very close. Uh, she would sleep over my house or like, mm. we're that one call away type of friend mm. na we know everything about each other. And also si May Luna, ganun din naman mm. ako. It's just that siguro mas, mas nakikita nila ng fans, mas nakikita ng supporters yung community. Mm. And then they made this um, name na Tira, which we laughed about. Na parang, din ang baho. <laughs> But now we just embrace that we laugh about it. Pero yeah, I guess Tin is my one, one of my one call away friends. Na mm. out of the blue, we wouldn't be talking for months, and then she would be like, "Hey, guy, I'm just, I just miss you. I feel really down today, and I know you're the only person I can talk to." She's that kind of friend. Or like, when we have good news, we would tell each other, even though we haven't spoken to to each other personally for a few weeks. Or we would go on um, friend dates, and then just I don't know, talk about anything and everything on and off the court and even though I was already I left the team after the season season 80 we were really we were still really close like we would still she would still sleep over my house like out of the blue she would be like hey can I come over and then she would sleep here for a week and I guess that's the connection um, that LaSalle gave us mm. na everyone's like a sister everyone you can turn To everyone, ganon. And si Tin, si Tin very cool. <laughs> she's just, I don't know. She's just a very motivating person, and I like motivating her and encouraging her because she can do so much stuff, so much things. Nah, mm-hmm. she has, she's, she hasn't realized that she is like she's this person. So, yun, yeah. <laughs> and I think she's um, well. I feel like there are players, like when you think about certain teams, okay, these players are the ones in the front line. These are the ones you're expecting to score. And this is no disrespect to Tin whatsoever, but like they're what you call like underrated players, like say a Sid mm-hmm. Demisilio, like a Tin Tiamzon. Like before she became, you know, yung scorer na talaga, she was one of those players. And um, I mean, you got to appreciate that because... Because you need those players that give the extra boost on the team, and I just I I, I think um, for for a while that was her role with Lasalle. Tin's growth is very inspiring, and you can see you I I saw her struggle uh, from the first day from the first day she was on the court, and when Atisid Atisid got injured, she had to step up on her first year mm. as 
um, as part of the first six, which is yeah. given given that time na ang lalakas ng ng opponents, like she really stepped up. Pero now she's really mature na she's one of the players na you could you could really rely on. Mm-hmm. Nung first year kasi medyo ginaguide pa siya, pero hindi it's given kasi na first year pa lang siya. Pero you can see how she contributed with her defense, with her receive. Like, mm-hmm. not everyone is given the chance to be on the first six on your freshman year. So it's it's very inspiring and I'm very proud of her na she, right now, she's one of the people na the team relies on and she's mm-hmm. the co-captain. Co-captain ni Ate Aduke. So, she has a, she has great leadership, Sipin, mm-hmm. and she motivates people really, really well. Let's go back to your high school years because I saw this picture of USD High School. And then, so I'm looking at this picture and, okay, um, it's Bongai and Therese. It's EJ and Aya. I know that girl. That's Gaira. <laughs> why, why are you covering your face? <laughs> no, I just remember the days Nah, I didn't know how to take care of my curls and then <laughs> and then I was so lampa. <laughs> I just remember those days. Kasi I started playing volleyball talaga under Coach Kung Fu eh. uh, uh. So, yung mga memories ko sa UST first few years were very kenkoy. And <laughs> I don't know. I'm so happy na Coach Kung Fu really concentrated on making me improve. So, nung high school days ko. So, I'm very thankful to <laughs> Coach. He's like my dad. Coach Kung Fu is like my dad. What was it like playing on a team like that? I mean, the powerhouse team, yun eh. And mm-hmm. I think it's rare, huh? You have two like sister tandems on one team. What was it like uh, during your UST days? I mean, UST is also a team that has a rich tradition of great players. Well, what's nice, yung time namin, di kami nawawala sa podium. So, um, given our, yung seniors din namin, um, na nag-graduate na, they gave, they gave this standard na, you should play like this, you should reach this, and, g- Coach Kung Fu and Coach Ian, they really gave, they really, put this rule up, hindi rule eh, pero parang, standard na, you have to play like this, um, you have to be strong emotionally, mentally, ganun. So they really challenged us mm. na to be better mentally, physically, and everything. It was really challenging. Tapos, uh, given yun, playing with the sisters, you know, Pongay, Ate Therese, EJ, and Aya, ano, masaya. Kasi, I don't know, kasi, di ba, yung team, sister, sister na yung feel. So iba pa yung sa kanila. Mm. And seeing them play together, it, it was really fun. You know, mm. na, and I know their parents would be proud of them because, syempre, minsan lang yon na mm. you have two sisters, two siblings playing for one team. So I guess that's really um, a proud moment for them. When you make your decision to go to college and pick a school, are there ever conversations like, because we, we know a lot of USD players who switch to a different school in college. Are there ever conversations like, ano? Let's just stay with UST para sama-sama pa rin tayo. Did you guys have that conversation or na? <laughs> huh. Wait, let me think. It's been years kasi. So, no issue. It's just really been years. I'm thinking yeah. if we ever did that. I guess we opened up to each other which teams were recruiting us then. Ah, okay. okay. Yeah, pero... We were really supportive of each other. Yeah. Mm. If 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 you think this is where you, you will grow more, or is, if this is your dream, why not go for it? I. Uh, pero syempre, nasa isip pa rin namin nun was to first choice pa rin namin nun before was USB. Kasi syempre, yeah. Coach Kung Fu, like yeah, Coach Kung Fu, siya talaga na siya nag ano sa amin, na train sa amin. Sa akin, siya nag he was my first ever coach. Ganon. So it was really hard to say goodbye to USD. It was mm. a tearful goodbye with Coach Kung mm. <laughs> He's gonna kill me if I tell Okay. Well, tell the story <laughs> of how you, how you got recruited by LaSalle then. <laughs> Coach Kung Fu, iiyak ka ba pag narinig mo to? <laughs> Diyan! Diyan! Because <laughs> Coach Kung Fu is 
like my dad eh. until uh, now like he uh, would text me we would text each other na I call him papa kasi uh, like when we're off the court I call him papa he's really uh, he's really like my dad mm. I was getting recruited by teams na mm. syempre kasi senior year diba mm. tapos um I guess what really touched my heart was Lasal um kasi when I when I went there nung in-invite nila ako to see the team not the train kasi syempre ano pa ang tawag dito I was still in, in UST and nasa isip ko kasi noon I don't want to train with another team parang loyal loyal ako kung nasa nako Mm. And parang sinabi ko kay coach coach para ano kasi I told coach kung fu na yeah. na people were recruiting me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tapos parang I told yung mga coaches na were recruiting me, coach I don't want to train pa po kasi I'm still in USD. Yeah. Um cause um I that my respect yung respect ko lang po kay coach kung fu I um wa is to entertain pero wag mo na mag-commit during that time kasi mm. At that time, Coach Kung Fu was pushing for the women's... Ano, kukunin na siya ng women's team eh. Mm. From girls to women's team. Mm. So, yun yung parang naging... Because Coach Kung Fu is like my dad. Parang yun yung, yun yung inanunod ko na respect to him. Ano, I, I won't commit to any teams first until until mag, makuha niya yung women's team. Eh, na, eh I was being invited sa Lasal sa bondings. Like, mm. iba kasi talaga yung bond na, bond sa Lasal. Like, syempre, I, ano, yun lang na experience ko. So, that's the only bond I know. Parang, we would go out with the coaches, like, magka-karaoke kami, ganun. Mm. Yun, nagka, they invited me to karaoke. Nako, okay. maraming magaling dyan. Maraming magaling. <laughs> you, you have a duke. Maraming magaling. Just go, just don't give the mic to Des. I, I rem- <laughs> that's, <laughs> That was that's what Don said. That's what Don. Sala heroine mo moments ni Ate Des. I remember that. I remember that. <laughs> I remember that. Okay. No? So that's how Lagot you were. <laughs> Wait, I'm just re- inuulit inuulit ko lang yung sinabi ni Don ha. Alam naman ni Des yan. <laughs> Pero yeah, a lot of a lot of like Justine can sing, a Duke yeah. can sing, 'di ba? Duke Finn can sing. Uh, oh, I I didn't know that, diba? So yeah, there's, can sing. there's a lot of talent in in, in La Salle. So that's how you were recruited and drawn to the team, pala. So the bonding, the bonding. The, mm. Yeah, and okay, how okay. and how uh, no, welcoming the players were. Mm. Like uh, when I watched their training, I watched their training uh, when I was still in USD. Yeah. Nagpapaalam naman ako kay Coach Kung Fu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then when I watch their training, parang super close bond sila. Kahit nahihirapan sila sa loob ng court. Yeah. Like, during breaks, ganun. Like, super close nila. Like, nag-joke pa, nag-joke pa sila, nag-aasaran. So, and then, I don't know, that's what struck to me na, oh, I like the bond of this team. And I like how each each player, see, ano, yung seniors, how they treat the rookies, the rookies, how they treat the seniors, ganun. Yeah. That, that's what, appealed to me na, oh, this this team feels like home. Yun yung umano sa akin. Wow, this team feels like home. Mm. Yeah. Actually, from from the players that we've interviewed, ganun, yun, ganun lagi yung sinasabi nila. Like, how how the players from the sal welcome the new recruits is like, magbabaw pa sila. Like, if they're jogging, they're gonna stop jogging and they're gonna bow. Parang, the respect is there right away. All right. So, sinabi mo na si Coach Kung Fu is like your dad. But you have a real dad who's yeah, also a yeah. coach. I've actually never met your dad because uh, I've never covered the PSL. Uh, is your dad also from USD or La Salle? Um, he graduated from TIP. Okay, TIP. My dad. Okay. So, but he played, um, he represented the country. He was on the national team during his days. Yeah. Okay, okay. All right, so how is that? I mean, uh, were were you immersed right away to like like did he tell you that you have to play volleyball? H- how was it for you growing up with a dad who's a volleyball player and coach? I've been asked this too many times, pero hindi ko pa rin. <laughs> I still don't know how to uh, say it. 
it was a huge pressure for me. Still is naman, pero uh, less now. More talaga before. It was a huge pressure for me. Kasi I started volleyball not because I wanted to. <laughs> I was forced. Like, out of nowhere, my dad goes like, hey, you have you have training with USD on, <laughs> on this certain day. I said, what? Training for what? <laughs> Pero nag ano na kami, we were playing volleyball na at home. He was teaching me basics. Pero kala ko for fun. Like, uh, bonding. Uh, you have training. Why? Ganun pa yung mga questions. Because I want you to be an athlete. I want you to be a volleyball player. Uh, I was a volleyball player. No. <laughs> no, I don't want to that. I just want to study. I, I would tell him that. I just want to study. I don't want to play volleyball. So for the longest time, I hated, I hated the sport. Like, mm. kasi syempre, pag pasok ko, pag punta ko sa training, wala, I mean, I knew the basics, pero syempre, it's, I haven't played with the team, uh, I haven't done, like, intense training, kasi I was, like, 11, 12. So, yun, he, my dad was really hard on me. My dad still is very hard on me. Pag mm. nagte-training kami here sa house, I've broken so many lights. <laughs> I've... <laughs> popped so many balls. I imagine he doesn't really mind or does he get mad? No, I mean, he'd at, be like... At least you're practicing. At least you're working on your game. <laughs> well, <laughs> you, the balls. When, oh. Kasi yung, ano, yung gate namin, meron siyang spikes. Uh. So, eh, syempre, during those times, wala pa akong control sa service ko, sa palo ko, everything. Uh. So, yung ball ako, it would go up there. Given na ang taas ng gate namin. Tapos, na-stock yung bola super daming beses. So, siguro I popped around six to seven balls na. Wow. So, na- tapos, my dad would just be like, he would just stare at the, at the ball like, and then he would look at me. At first, like, okay pa. And then, nung tumagal, wala ka kasing control eh. Sabi ko sa'yo, i-control mo eh. It'd be like that na. <laughs> and then yung mga lamps namin sa house, um, yung sa labas sa may garage, we have kasi mga lights doon. ba usually yung lights, paprotektahan mo siya sa labas. Like, you'd put a gate outside. Uh-huh. My dad put a gate inside kasi nasira ko like, out of eight, nasira ko yung six. Nasira ko yung, nabali, nabali ko yung lights. So, yon yung mga lamp namin doon, <laughs> medyo sira na dyan sa labas. Pero nagawa na. And then yung mga spikes dun sa, sa gate, nilagay niya ng tube. Isa-isa yon He wow. went up the gate and then in isa isa Gaira, you are a destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> That was in high school, I'm just saying. I don't... And then I broke a window also. Sa side ng gara. What? <laughs> I'm just saying this was in high school. I didn't have control of high school. Okay, okay. Ito, ito. ito. You've okay. actually played against him. So, and, and ano ah, it's, it's rare. Wait, kasi in basketball, there are a lot of coach and son fa- tandems in, in the Philippines. But in volleyball, parang, parang it's, a, it's a rare thing. I, are, are there any other coach and, and daughter or coach and son, I, well, coach Ramil, but like, for you and your dad, it's an active thing, eh? like, you're actually playing against him. Well, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> Pero, kasi, what, di ba, my dad has been training me for so long at home, like, yeah. during the weekends, after my practice, uh, UST before, after my practice, Salasal, if we still have time, he'd train me extra work here at home. Uh-oh. Tapos, I remember how one time I was super duper tired na, and then namukaan niya ako. Cause I, I was showing him a face na I'm so tired. Mm-hmm. Tapos minukaan niya ako. I don't know if it was intentional. He, 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 he's not making amin kung intentional yung. And then, I, sa, tapos sabi niya sa akin, ano, mag i ka pa ba? He was like that. <laughs> so I was, eh, I was in high school. I think I was in second year high school. Eh, wala nga akong ala. Like, super baby-baby talaga ako nun. Mm. Tapos nangingiyak na ako, mag-receive ako, nangingiyak ako, pinapaluan niya ako. And then, 
after he would be like kakay daddy <laughs> like that so biglang susuyuin niya ako so now I guess it's different kasi now hindi na ganun asara na kami now like pag natatamaan niya ako inaasar ko na siya wala naman tong control ginaganan ko na siya <laughs> so yeah that's how our uh, our relationship is na so now na I have this chance to play against him again mm. it's gonna be exciting kasi given the quarantine kami lang talaga nagte-train with each other like every day we train with each other and yun ang dami niyang kinorek sa akin so it's gonna be fun to play against him again kasi Grabe, ah. sa... <laughs> so t- so tinutulungan niya yung kalaban <laughs> so so it's uh yeah fa- f- blood is thicker than water here like uh okay. I, I remember one of my games sa Coco Life we, we went against Signal uh-uh. um we were on the fifth set na And then, because whenever my dad and I are gonna go each other that day, uh, I'll sleep sa condo and then, what? or yeah, I'll sleep sa condo the night before. Coach, magtalaban mo na kayo ngayon na hindi mo na uwi si Gaira. Ganon, like please, please don't talk to each other. Ganon yung mga coaches ko. So yun that one time I played against him, Coco Life. Nag fifth set kami. That was, I don't know, I had, I was so nervous even though we were up na, I think 13-10 yung score. We were 13, fifth set. Sobrang nervous ko kasi parang nasa mindset ko lang was, ah, I'm gonna win against my dad. I'm playing against my dad. I'm the first six and I'm playing against my dad. This is such an opportunity. Like, nag-overthink ako at that moment. Uh, like, outside yung serve ko. Oh my God. And then natalo, natalo kami. Natalo kami. That was your chance. You were I like, know. I don't care if I broke all those lights at the house. All yeah. those times that you said I had no control. I want to break his heart this game. Ganon. I want to break his heart this game. Yun yung nasa isip ko. Kasi every point ko, I'd look at him or I'd do this to him. No, I would do that or when I could, when I would block his players. Kasi ba? Diba, The swag, yeah, 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 yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't show my swag to players. I'd show my swag to him. Like, titig na ako siya. Tas, gagana na ako sa kanya. Like, I'd smirk at him or do that to him. Uh, And he would laugh it off. Pero yun uh, nga, it was an intense game, 13-10 yung score. Uh, And then na outside ko yung serve. Uh, so, yun kaya never overthink, never hesitate what you're gonna do. Just do it. He didn't so, rub it in the man after the game. So, kasi, patingin. Eto nga. <laughs> eto nga. Tapos na yung game. So, with, we had this agreement na after ng game, I would ride with him going uh, home. Uh. When I opened the door to the car, he was smiling at me. <laughs> And then he was like, anak, mahal mo ko, no? You really love your dad, no? You're such a daddy's girl, no? He was like that. I was like, tas, I was fuming. Like, tapos sabi niya, Nak, thank you, Adal. Sa'yo nanalo ko. Ganon. Tapos, I screamed. I screamed talaga na, I'm gonna go home sa condo. I'm gonna go home alone. Ano, magagaba ko pa away. Ayaw kita kasabay. Tapos, I slammed the door. Oh, oh tapos, I, what? I, and then, I opened it again. Uh, God, pengi ako pang grab. Natawa <laughs> siya. So, like, sabi niya, de, de, umupo ka dito. Pero we were joking that, that yeah, time. Yeah, Pero yeah. gets, like, yeah. that was my chance. So, until now, whenever we would, like, if the game goes on mm. sa TV, he would look at me like, Nak, this is the game you showed me you loved me. Ah. <laughs> He's like that. So, I'm excited to go against him again to, mm. um, to show na what we've been working on during the quarantine. And hopefully, I don't make any mistakes na ganun, yeah, against para, him. Because I would never naman. hear the end of it. I would never hear the end of it. Until now. Until now, he would be like, Nak, this is the game. You showed everyone you love me. Ganun siya. <laughs> But you said there was, a ch- there was actually a chance for you to play under him at UAC, right? So, so yeah. what, what happened? Gusto mo muna bawian. <laughs> it, parang ano kasi, yung sinabi sa amin na, Parang package deal na ah, okay, if, okay. like, the management wanted to get us both. Kasi ah. parang in the volleyball scene, I'm not sure, like, walang mag-ama na nag-play against each other pa, or play with each other. Ah. I don't know if it's, if it's, if I'm correct. Pero yun yung sinabi sa amin. Pero my dad, 
and I ayo pa namin because I don't want I want to play for him when I'm like really ready when because there of course there would be issues na ah, like okay okay absolutely na, na parang oh he, he she's just in the court or like my favorite is him ganun. I don't want that and my dad doesn't want that either so right now we're I'm focusing on myself na he's fo- he's um training me also and then um I just want to go against him muna. And then, mas sabi niya nga, mas magandang magka- magkalaban muna tayo ngayon. Mm. Next time na tayo magkasama pag, ano, pag, pag, hindi na kita kayang asarin. Sabi niya. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tune in when Bali Pure plays against UAC. Two teams. You better back. cheer for Bali Pure. <laughs> Animal Asal. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. You, you got it, you got it. Anyway, Gaira, this was a great catch-up and best of luck to you and Bali Pure, Coach John, everybody on the team. Thank you so much for the time. And, Thank you for um, having me. Yeah, like you said, Animal Asal. <laughs> Guys, Gaira Baroga in the lab here on Volleyball DNA. Thank you for watching Volleyball DNA. Make sure you hit the subscribe button to get notified for future episodes and interview highlights. And while you're at it, head over to our Facebook page by clicking on the link in the description.